What's up guys? Hope y'all all are doing good. Hope y'all have had some luck, been on the hunt. Hope y'all have all found something good. If you have, leave me a comment. Let me know what you found in your area. And uh, I'd kind of like to know what's going on out there. The Hot Wheels is really slow in our area right now, man. They're kind of stuck here and there on some old JKs. And heck, they even got back to some uh, PKs from last year. It was, was a 510. This is actually out of Walmart. I seen this house. It's pretty crazy. So I don't know. I don't don't know what the deal is. But anyhow, I did come across a couple of things I was going to share with y'all, and it's uh, different things. Um, some of it is just kind of equipment, different things for the collection. I'm going to open up. I'm going to eventually do something with this stuff in these big trucks. And yeah, I got some hot wheels track guys, and so I got some stuff coming in the future. Um, Me and my wife are fixing to start doing a lot more pig hunting too. She she likes recording for me the other day, and now she's wanting to record for me. So we're gonna start getting into some good pig hunting if we can find new stuff. I'll say that y'all know how it is. Sometimes it's it's hard to, to find new any, anything good. But um, anyhow, uh, y'all did do a little bit of hunting this week. Did come across a few things, like I say, a couple of interesting things, something different. Uh, you know, just run of the mill just a little share of what i found this week uh if y'all see my short i know i'll have come across some new m2s and i've done a little short with that m2 and it went kind of quick so i bring it out and i'm gonna show it in my video tonight uh so y'all can get a better look at it because i really like it i like the fact that it's what it is um because you know as you know you, you can't pick your chases uh as hot was international says you know you can't pick your chases so when you find a car that you actually like or collect in a chase, it's always a little extra special. So, so we did come across the M2 haulers. Like I said, y'all probably seen my shorts. So I mean, most of y'all probably did, most probably didn't, but check that out, guys. Give y'all an up close of it. In the video, I said it was a 65, I mean the 69, it's a 65 fastback. Um, got the uh, go wheels, there's your go bumpers on the back right here. Um, the regular, these are silver and these here are gold on this and then I like the fact that it's got the white with the gold. I think that looks really good. And also love the fact that it actually was a Mustang instead of like a 50s or something real old that, you know, I enjoy finding. But when it comes right down to it, I'm a sports car. I'm more into these kind of cars right here than the old cars like that. Um, but anyhow... There's an up close of it. The truck is awesome. It's a 69 Ford F350. Uh, absolutely a cool truck. In front of it right there. And you can see the back of the Mustang right here. Winch is gold, I think. It's got the gold interior in both of them. All the trims go. It's pretty neat, man. I really, 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 really like this chaser here, guys. I have to have it. Um, I'm going to move it up the way over here. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know it was probably kind of quick on that video. I haven't done a video about it. I'm going to process of doing engine swap on my wife's road. Y'all, if y'all ever put an engine in a Nissan Rogue, it's kind of a pain. If you ever have, y'all know what I'm talking about. But, man, they're just compacted in there. Um, the cow, uh, most of y'all probably know what I'm talking about with the wiper blades is on um, these cars today. It sticks out over the motor. The cow is uh, metal. Um, yeah, it's just probably gonna have to drop it out the bottom. It's gonna end up being a really good, a big job, actually. I kind of dread it, but you know, getting older, that kind of works getting rough on me doing engine swaps, but I gotta get it done, guys, so enough of that. Um, what I picked up here this week, just some equipment, you know. Um, but I did actually come across these first time I found the Broncos, the Matchbox. I mean, they are pretty awesome, I got to admit, you know. Um, like I say, first time I'd seen them in person. But, you know, they're really done up, man. Like the headlight deco, it's really done up nice. You know, the, the taillight deco is really done up really good. You know, I got a tag on there. It's just done really well, man. It's kind of looks period correct. And I just, I, I really like, dig the headlights in this thing, man. It, 
It's almost like a 3D print of a of what that would look like, you know, and it, it just looks good. I'm just glad to come across those. And I, I found those trucks, the 68 Chevy trucks, I think it was. I got me a couple of those in my bin. I'm gonna put those in my bin too and just kinda let them set, you know. And, uh, Anyhow, as y'all see, I've got some uh, equipment out here. Some different kinds of stuff right here for different things. This actually come with my Matchbox P truck. Uh, more big trucks to come, guys. This is just the start of a big line hole, I'm afraid. But this right here is a Matchbox loader lifter. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna open it up, see what it's all about here, because I got stuff like this. I kind of started displaying, to be honest with y'all. Uh, this looks kind of cool. And since I have started opening up some stuff, you know, I've been exploring what I really like to see open and stuff like this. I like enjoy it. I don't know, I guess. Kind of growed up with the logging, big 18 wheeler history. That's my family. It's most of my family, that's what they always done. I'm a mechanic, of course. But anyhow, it's pretty cool, man. Check it out and raise it up and lay it down. It's a pretty cool little piece, you know, to look at, to, to sit on a table with some other equipment. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, really the only other thing that I've got tonight is uh, I've got a couple of these here. Matchbox tractors, guys, check that out. Hey, pretty cool, right? These are EVs, it says. Monarch EV tractors. Um, so I'm assuming with a monarch, I'm assuming these are the real deal. You know, I don't, I don't think they're going to be fantasy, but if y'all know, let me a, a comment if this is a real brand or what, you know, but they're pretty cool. going to open one up and check it out. I'm going to eventually open two, but I don't really need it tonight to open both of them until I get ready to use them. But yeah, it's pretty cool. The EV, I've never seen them. EV tractors here, so when I seen it, it's kind of a first, so. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Man, pretty neat little tractor, man. Rolls good, check that out. I'm gonna probably go down the track, good. But yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's actually kind of detailed up pretty well. Um, I don't know, it's pretty cool. It's just something that I like it. Um, I really do like it, guys. So, went ahead and got a couple of them. Um, and that's it, guys. This is kind of short one tonight. Mostly just wanted you guys to check in, let y'all know that, you know, I, don't, I haven't been on here a lot. I apologize. I haven't been on here a whole lot. It's just been busy, 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 go, 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 engine swap work. Uh, it's just been crazy, man. I just haven't had a lot of. Uh, you know, internet time. But anyhow, guys, I hope y'all are finding stuff out there. You know, like I say, it's really slow here in my area right now. So, um, yeah, just get out there and go hunt. Don't keep up on it because you don't ever know when something's going to drop, man. That's usually, usually it drops and you're at least expecting it. And, and y'all know what I'm talking about. So, I appreciate each and all you guys. I appreciate all my original subscribers, my new subscribers. All the views and stuff I've been getting here lately, guys, it means a lot to me. It's really important to me. I'm still trying to grow and build the channel up, you know, trying some different things here and there along the way. Um, so I appreciate all y'all for uh, dropping in, watching, checking it out, guys. Y'all be safe. I'm out. Go hunt. Get out there.